Hi everyone! We're here at the Red Charity Gala. Tonight is exciting actually because Rahul Orel is celebrating how many years? 25 years, guys. <laughs> That's Tisha's age. <laughs> so hi guys, we're here backstage. Yes, and we are just chilling with the models yeah. like we are. Yeah. We're gonna chat with actually Rahul's sister, Jella, who created like the looks for tonight. <laughs> Parang Nat Geo. <laughs> <laughs> so, hello guys. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Okay, so I finished her base. Uh, we're doing a matte base. So we did a little bit, just a little bit of foundation, a little bit of powder, no blush, just contours. Mm -hmm. And now I'm doing her eyes. Can we ask you also one thing? Like your favorite Raho moment in all the 25 years he's been in the industry? Because you've seen it all. Aside, aside from all my Barbie's hair being chopped off. <laughs> yes. We just want to let you guys know, no? there's someone from New York in this circle. <laughs> Clue, that's not me. <laughs> Are you named Jet Lag Salikon? I was taking a nap over here until you guys came. Thank you guys. I'm getting, we love Green.ph. We're here to catch Tessa. In the wild, just kidding. I but can yeah. you spot her? Can you spot her? Lucky. She's right. <laughs> yes. It can only be Tessa. That must be heavy, right? Look who we spotted. Who we How can you not spot How me? How can we not? You know, I have my own homing device. <laughs> it's just been 10 years since our first Red Charity Gala. So I said, like, I have to, like, outdress everyone. Not that I don't, but I do. <laughs> and so Ken Zamune made me a super outfit to match my Rahul wow. creation. Yes. And he said that this is, like, uh, you know, a colorful, all the colorful life of the birds, of, of what's natural in the Philippines. And, of course, you know, with all that drama and everything, He's celebrating 25 years, yes. so this is this is this is a sample of his of his just masterwork this year. Am I like hitting you? Me? I can't count how many times I've been bitch slapped by that. Head piece. I know, actually. I'm like, oh gosh! Wow, so blinded by the light. Hi, sorry, it's okay. Don't look at us. Can we spray these? This kind sir will help us spray it. <laughs> Whoa. Let's move on to the next. Not gonna lie, na tikman ko yung pabango, guys. Okay, so this is the next it's one. Uno, actually, this is the first one. Take it away. Spray it in there. We're lounging, waiting for Rahul show to start. I don't think I wanna get out. People are staring at us, by the way. But we're not gonna get out. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Just kidding. My first time at a gay club was with Raho. Yeah. It was really fun. It was yeah. really fun. Can you share with us like a moment with Raho that you like well, will never you know, forget? I've, uh, Raho has always been like our top designers, but I recently got to do like a really nice heart-to-heart -heart talk with him. He sketched me when we went to Amanpulo recently, and yeah. from then on, you know, like we became very close. And I'm just so happy for his success. He's very inspirational. Why is she so beautiful? I know. Like, oh, and she's so sparkly. She's so beautiful, girl. After a long like interview time with people, I think it's just right for us to get a few snacks. Yeah. Can you tell us like who you're wearing tonight? Shampre Raho. It's actually repeat performance. Na. He made this dress for me about just a month ago. Oh. So last minute I could attend the ball and I told him, Raho, I have nothing to wear. He said, just wear the gold dress. I don't mind. Repeat. So last event, it was Jericho Rosales. And right now we're about to have a moment. I hope let's not jinx it. With Derek Krams. Yeah, over here. Right <laughs> uh, How long did it take you to get ready tonight? Ten minutes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is 25 years with you! Yeah. Can you share with us like um, the journey of this collection? Um, well, we've been working on this collection for almost uh, 15 months now. Mm. What I just wanted to do was really figure out what's out there in terms of our fabrics yeah. and try to um, define what Philippine style is now. And we're not talking about the ternos of our grandparents or even sort of like Filipiniana. Yeah. It's sort of like understanding how we can develop and grow. Marita, like for instance, if you look at oh, Marita, so it's really sort of like the idea of the Maria Clara, 
but essentially um, made contemporary. Um, it's abaca silk. So if you think about it, they're still Filipino materials, yeah. but yet completely contemporary manner. You've lent your creativity to a lot of brands, actually, which is really great. <laughs> My favorite is uh, American Standard. Now you yeah. can shower with me. <laughs> exactly! I was gonna say, you can I mean, all you we, now shower in style. Because yeah, absolutely, can't you? 